What is snapping, Collector Cultists? Collector Tyrant here again today, and today I have a new video, something different to talk about, because it's something that you guys need to be educated on if you have not heard about this already, because it's a big, it's sort of a big deal for any of you guys out there who do collectible channels and stuff. And yeah, um, it's not a good thing. It's it's probably going to ruin some of you guys' channels, possibly, possibly, most likely. Before we start, I do have have a link to a petition down the bottom. If you do come across this video, check it out. Uh, this will affect you guys as YouTubers and people who watch YouTube as well. So it's not going to just be a, a content creator thing. It's going to be a whole spectrum of YouTube uh, that this might change. And uh, it's important that uh, we all sort it out and get us, uh, that petition signed. But anyway, guys, um, if you haven't heard about it already, uh, there's this thing called Copa or Copa. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, how you pronounce it in your accent, whatever. But anyway, what's happened is YouTube has literally had some problems uh, they went and data mined some stuff of some uh, underage people and, uh, well, kids. The whole topic is really kids. And they have basically been smashed with a massive fine from COPA. And I believe COPA stands for Child Online Protective uh, Policies, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. But anyway, what has happened is uh, they copped uh, um, millions and millions of dollars fine. And now they are basically putting all that crap onto us now as content creators. And it's not good. Uh, it's not good at all. Now, as you can see, there's quite a few videos that have been made already. Um, I will be linking some of the videos I found quite uh, knowledgeable down the bottom in the, in the description as well. If you guys want to check it out, if you guys want to get more in depth into these videos, um, there's some really good uh, YouTubers doing some videos on this at the moment, especially this guy at the top. He's actually a lawyer. Um, but yeah, anyway, what's happened is, is that we now have to comply to a policy uh, whether our videos are for kids or not for kids, okay? Now, you might not even know this already, but it's actually happened to your channel. It's, I guarantee if you check your channel right now, I'm going to get into this and show you some footage, but if you check your uh, channel now, YouTube has actually gone into your channel and possibly changed some of your videos into kid-friendly videos. Uh, but I'll show you that later. But I'm going to go through uh, all the details of what how this works and stuff first. And yeah, it's, it's something you guys need to know about. All right, so basically what's happened is you have two choices, uh, you know, when it comes to YouTube. Uh, now, when it comes to uploading videos, you either click a box saying, uh, my video is for kids and my video is not for kids. And basically, it's a double-edged sword. It's, it's not a good thing either way, but really when I think about it, because well, it could be, it could be if you comply properly. But as I said, guys, uh, YouTube has not given us really much information about this. It's very much of a gray line, really. 23 million channels and, and, and in an expeditious way. So when we talk about aggressiveness, we are typically talking about civil penalties. Not only can we sue Google and YouTube for compliance with COPPA, but also individual channel owners and content creators. All right, guys, so what happens is if you comply to the rules, uh, you pick four kids for your videos, you will have no notifications on that video, you will have no comments on the video, you will not be searchable, the video will not get to suggested or recommended. And if you make money off this uh, video, you'll be, you're going to be making 90% less revenue. I have heard that's uh, anywhere between 60 and 90% on different videos. So that can vary. So basically what happens is if you're making a video that is about certain things that the kids might uh, be attracted to, you have to put it as a for kids video. And this will all apply to that once that has been selected. Now you probably think to yourself, okay, that sounds not too good. I'm just going to make my videos not for kids. What happens then is if you do pick this uh, other option, not for kids, uh, they do have these uh, new bots coming out. I think they're going to scan your videos and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, like a bot. It pretty much looks at your video and sees if it has any child relatable content in that video. And then if they find out that your video is actually for children, you uh, pay the penalty for it. Now, I, I don't know if this works through uh, possible uh, strikes on your YouTube channel, uh, the video being demonetized or taken down. But also this... Uh, rumor that's been going around that uh, you could be slapped with a massive fine of thousands and thousands of dollars from COPA itself. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to get in trouble if you say your video wasn't for kids and then a bot scans it or someone sees that it was actually uh, directed for children or has some sort of, you know, children are possibly attracted and I use quotes with my little fingers there, uh, could be attracted to your video. But basically it comes down to subject matter here guys and as you can see on the screen here this could be pretty much anything kids are into uh that your your video could attract them to if that makes sense so anything like kids jokes music kids uh games video games and computer games children's tv shows like nickelodeon stuff like that 
uh, stars, cartoon characters, sports, stories, toys, children's books, fantasy, children's arts, crafts, pets, and products purchased or consumed by kids like snack food or cereal, which is ridiculous considering I love uh, Fruit Loops. I'm a big fan of Fruit Loops. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only adult who eats that sort of cereal. And as you see down there too, anything that's uh, visually ap uh, appealing to children, like even words and stuff, if you use those words in your video, then that's technically comes under that uh, protocol, I guess. So yeah, it's not too good. It's uh, not too good at all. So basically what happens is it's a lose-lose. Now this is going to affect uh, a lot of channels, guys. Uh, this is the reason I'm making this video is for you guys who uh, I, I have collaborated or uh, you know who I am. I know who you guys are. The smaller channels, I consider a small channel under 10,000, really, honestly. Um, the channels who are just trying to like make this, you know, their thing that's going to happen. They want to expand their channel and get more views and put the hard work out there and get the return. Or anyone with a hobby channel even, this con this considers you too. So basically it's going to make it impossible, near impossible to grow your channel on YouTube if you have to comply to your videos for kids. Okay, so as you can see up here, all creators are obligated to take action and comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. All right? So you can either dismiss this at the moment or you can select channel settings, etc. Um, so uh, this does not apply till January the 1st. Apparently this all goes into lock uh, the start, li literally the start of next year. So yeah, guys, so make sure you get on that if you have got videos and stuff. But this is the thing I found interesting and this has actually happened to me. So YouTube has already gone by and this is, as you can see here, uh, my Gandalf video has been made for kids and set by YouTube. So that's actually a video that has been hit by this new thing that's coming along. And as you can see down here, I've got other videos that are, looks to be fine, but look at, at my 600 subs video for that giveaway of Pikachu. That's apparently directed towards children when, I don't know, I'm pretty sure most of my guys and girls on here are adults, but anyway, whatever. But what I find really strange is, I'm gonna get down here and show you guys. Okay, you can see the Pokemon video here. I've got no kids uh, thing come up on this at all. If we uh, go to the next page here, you can obviously see, uh, we'll get to Disney, and you can see right here, Disney, made for kids. So Disney stuff <laughs> is made for kids. It's directly stuff like this. If you're a Disney pop collector, this is going to really affect you. Um, as you guys can notice here, I do Pokemon cards as well, and there's not many... I don't see really any uh, Pokemon videos of mine being hit with this thing yet. Oh, funny enough, Digimon has. Look at this. Digimon is, uh, to me, a, a little bit more mature than Pokemon, and yet it's hit for... And yet it's hit with this made for kids stuff, which is crazy. Um, as I was saying, God, with the Pokemon cards, it, it probably looks right now like, okay, it doesn't look too worrying right now when it comes to the cards. But I can just see this changing in the future. Like Pokemon cards are directly aimed for kids. Kids love this stuff. And I understand that we have a lot of adult uh, people in this community that love this stuff too. It's just one of those things, guys. It could change at any moment. Right, so all the channels I can see being affected by this, obviously, uh, any video game channels, um, that play like kid games like Spyro or like Roblox or like uh, Minecraft is a big one that comes to mind here. I think that could be possibly uh, a problem. I don't know. Animation's going to take a massive hit. And let's face it, those guys work a lot harder than most YouTubers out there. Animation is a hard game. And apparently a lot of them are making videos on this stuff too. Uh, the Lego community has been absolutely annihilated uh, from this uh, Kappa stuff. Like, I've seen some guys' videos. I feel really bad for them. Some of them are doing really well. As I said, this guy here, Jang, uh, Jang Bricks, he's a pretty big uh, YouTuber when it comes to Lego and stuff. And he's, you know, taking it hard. You know, Shady Penguin, I'm actually a big fan of Shady Penguin. Uh, he's a Pokemon content creator. Uh, he's he's a guy, he just basically said, like, I don't know if I can continue my channel and stuff. I don't know. Like, all these big YouTubers and stuff are really talking about this right now. And that's a problem, like, I honestly don't know how PewDiePie is going to go with this because he makes a lot of videos with Minecraft. I really think some of the bigger guys, the real big guys out there, should start stepping up and make having their opinion on this. It doesn't only apply to collectible channels, guys. You think about kids like a lot of things like cooking channels. Um, I know myself as a kid, I like cars. I was a big fan of just cars in general, like sports cars. And, uh, you know, car channels might even get this as well. If kids are watching that stuff, it could probably affect them. Possibly, I don't know. You know, like craft channels, even pet channels. If, you, if you're if you a pet channel uh, person who does uh, videos on like lizards and stuff like that, or like reptile channels are big. Uh, kids love that sort of stuff. So it could affect you there too. The big thing I uh, can think of right now is family vlog channels that actually have kids in their, in their videos. They're going to get hit massively with this sort of stuff. Because apparently uh, having kids in your video is a big deal as well. 
Um, and that's a big thing too I want to mention because I know some of you guys do have your kids in your videos, all right? So if your kid's under 13, then you should really look into that video and see what you could do about it too, you know? Also guys, this also applies to people who have left YouTube as well because some of these people have videos out there that they probably don't know uh, that their channel's actually been affected by this and they've left it, the platform, and they could possibly you know, got get into trouble from this stuff. I don't know how it's going to work, but... All right, so it's not really that great uh, to talk about, uh, but I will be leaving some of the links of these videos I find informative uh, in, in the description below as well. I'll link that discussion in there as well, so you can talk directly to these people who, want, who actually want to make this a thing and actually make this happen on YouTube. As I am Australian too, I, I don't know if this is a more of an American thing, but I've heard that this can apply to any sort of westernized countries like Australia, uh, UK, and stuff like that as well. So it's, it's not just... America's problem here. This is a worldwide thing and uh, it's going to affect a lot of YouTubers and people who watch YouTube as well. You're, a lot of our content creators have just given up at this point. So yeah, it's not a good thing at all. Now, I want to talk about some things here uh, when it comes to my channel personally. Um, I have put way too much time, effort, money. Um, I've lost certain people from my life uh, because I'm just so into this YouTube, like, like I don't see as many friends as much as I used to, um, you know, just things like that. And I don't want to sympathy for that at all. I'm just saying I, I've chose this path and I'm, I'm going to continue this path. Like I know there's a big slap for like, uh, $40,000 and stuff like that. But you know, to me, I just, I, I, I can't give this stuff up, man. Like I just, I enjoy doing it too much. I put way too much time into this stuff, uh, editing my videos and stuff like that. So I will, uh, endure, and I will continue to make content. I've got more videos coming out this week as well. If you guys are watching, uh, I do have some more videos coming out this week. Uh, but yeah, um, let me know in the comments, guys. Let's talk about this stuff. Um, also, I recommend that if you have a channel, even if you're just like a small, small channel, like you've only got 30 subscribers, make videos on this stuff. Share videos of um, my video or anyone's video that you like that are that, that's actually talking about this, that does have the petition in the, in, in the description. Uh, get this out because this is this is something that needs to change, guys. Um, for everyone's sake, I think. But anyway, guys, I'm I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, as I said, talk to me in the comments. Uh, make your own videos. Uh, support each other through this dark time. Uh, we just don't know what the future holds. I think it's kind of ridiculous that I'm making a video and I get fined that much money. I, I think it's ridiculous to be honest. It, it seems really absurd to be honest, and I can't believe we're actually at this actually at this point here when it comes to the internet and stuff like that. So. Yeah, interesting times to be a uh, content creator, guys. It really is. But anyway, that will be it for today. For you collectors out there, keep on collecting. And hold on to dear life, because we're about to go into a weird, weird year next year. I'll, I'll say that much. All right, collect the tyrant out.